Welcome everyone to another episode of Fit Fam. We're excited to be here. This is Hillary, Miss Natural Olympia. And that guy is formulated. <laughs> Just a formula. Um, do, you ever, do you ever realize that when we start these, you're like, ah! and I'm like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a while to get you warmed up. I need to do better. Okay. Um, you know what we didn't bring is we just came out of a giant seminar this weekend uh, with hundreds of doctors from all over the nation. It's such a huge blessing to be able to work with them and teach and go through all the research with them to take back to their clinics. But two doctors from Mexico came. Oh, uh, hmm. I, I had them on the counter too. Just, yeah, they, they had these little mugs made for us. And Doug says the formulator and mine says Miss Natural Olympia. And they're the coolest. Mine is pink, so they obviously know me very well. And I think Doug's is black or gray. So, and they're awesome. They'll be here next time. Yes, but um, thank you so much. We have, we always have really cool things from the doctors. Either they'll come with a testimonial on their phone from a patient or little things. Someone brought us some raw, he said, pecans, right? <laughs> pecans. And things like that. Oh, that's right. And um, it's really neat to be able to do that. And one of the things that, talking about the seminar from the weekend, is we actually talked about a new study and it went over like, like crazy and all the docs are going to be using it. Um, with patients um, as a part of their fasting. Uh, fasting, as you know, is getting a big deal. And we went over all the research and we have the app that you can download 63 for me, just from um, your app store <clears throat> that um, you can do the fasting program through it. Anyways, there was a new study out on fat burning and it was really, really cool. And so we're going to kind of talk about it and a few more things in our subject. Yeah, fat burn. We're just going to talk about fat burn and um, the products that we currently have with um, OHS that can help um, to increase your fat burn and also some things that you can do to increase your fat burn. So activities. supplements you can take and activities that you can do. And I think maybe we'll touch on just a bit uh, about insulin. And yeah, insulin. we'll touch on it and see if we maybe need to do a deeper dive into that a little bit later. But I think that the key is to understand we're going to go through some nutrients right off the bat and those nutrients um, are proven in the research and we'll talk a little bit about them as to why if you have them in the body at the right amounts then it will actually speed up fat burning and this is just a good subject right now because so many people um, start the new year and that is the high majority of the population like we talked about desire is to l reduce body fat yeah, and what what do you like to say? You like to say re reduce, reduce, not lose. Not lose. Yeah. yeah, we don't want to lose weight because you might lose muscle in that, and if you lose something, you gain it back. You want to reduce it. You might accidentally so, say lose a couple times. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> so, the thing is, is that that if we can give the body and just you some wins, you know, some things that man, I, I do see a little bit of body fat reduction. Um, I, you know, motivated to stay on. Mm -hmm. And so we want to be able to give you these little details, these specific nutrients that might just be the difference maker to be able to help you reduce body fat and get that win. I think so for sure. And even if initially you don't see the body fat reduction, you do feel the difference in um, just basically how you feel and how you show up and mm -hmm. knowing what always helps with us, right, when we get back into uh, bodybuilding, like getting lean mode, getting ready for stage mode, what always helps is that we have this conversation almost every time and I look at you and I'm like, it's not going to work. No matter what, it's not. I'm not going to get lean. It's, it's not going to happen this year. And we have this conversation about science and it, y you can't fight science if you follow it it's going to work. And so I like that concept. And I like that concept concept with this is if you're doing the things, even if it's not showing up right now, the way you want it to, it will, it has to. It, it has to for the reasons of data driven from science that I like, but even more through the understanding consistency of habits in the body and just that universe will bless you by doing something consistently over time, the right thing and with the right mindset. And so you get both benefits, a cellular benefit from the science and the nutrients, and then also the frequency benefit. So let's dive into the first thing, and that is a hot topic lately. Yeah, electrolytes. Electrolytes. So yeah. let's name the electrolytes we're talking about. Okay, so sodium, potassium, magnesium, and calcium. Right, and calcium with a smaller amount, but sodium, potassium, magnesium, a little bit of calcium. Um, and that's really a big factor. And I think that there's, uh, we can just kind of jump into 
the studies that talk about the fat burning, um, and maybe you can jump into that. Let me maybe explain the basics of what they are. Okay. So sodium, potassium, magnesium, and a small part calcium, their job when we're talking about the electrolyte uh, portion of their job is to, in the body, help with the, the cellular communication. Um, and that's the best way I think it to describe it. Think of these trillions of cells in the body and those cells have to communicate. They have to communicate with the fluids of the body to bring in certain nutrients that the body needs to help with energy, vitality, mental clarity, fight disease. And then they also have to communicate with the parts of the body that says, hey, we have these extra toxins here. We need to get rid of them so they can go and get those toxins and take them and filter them out of the body. And so there's this direct communication and the communication, think of it as electrical charge, you know, electricity in and out of the membrane of the cell and sodium, potassium and magnesium are the electrical messengers of the cell. So that's why we call them electrolytes. And that's a simple version of it, but hopefully it creates a picture. And yeah. uh, when we're talking specifically about fat burning, there's great research on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you touch on the research, but I just wanted to say um, it also, because of that, electromagnetic uh, feeling and that's what assists when you're running or getting ready to run or, or you know sweating profusely and those electrolytes make you feel completely different right yeah and that's one of the things is you're like well how do we get rid of the electrolytes burn them up just that if you know especially anything sweating so when you're um, doing your brisk walks when you're you know, running on the treadmill and what a lot of people to understand if you have a real stressful day um, you can feel that sweat, right? You're like, man, I stink a little bit, body odor today type thing. When all I did was work hard in, yeah. you know, in the desk. Brain activity. Brain activity. Yeah. And so that's a factor. So we do get rid of electrolytes and the more active you are, the more you go through, which is really important to understand. And, uh, you know, on average, um, to be, you know, like <clears throat> real conservative, um, so that, you know, for all the fact checker friends of mine and stuff like that out there. Um, there are studies showing, you know, up to an additional 25, 30% actually increase of fat burning if your electrolyte levels are up where they belong and even a little bit on the high side. But on average, uh, National Institutes of Health, multiple studies show that, you know, if you maintain proper electrolyte balance, uh, you can lead up to a, a, about a 15%, 15% yeah. increase in fat burning. Which is great. Any any uh, amount of help in fat burning is great yeah, right so and 15 like, it's huge so if you burn a thousand calories of fat which is a lot it's right a lot then lot. you get an extra <laughs> you know 150 calories from the same amount of work just because your electrolyte levels are up love it you know it doesn't doesn't take a lot of thinking to realize that i can do that because you can take them and it's not hard to do you're not injecting you're not doing anything crazy it's just taking in electrolytes. Yeah, and they make you feel better as you are in that intense uh, run. So also, let's move on to um, L-carnitine. Uh, okay. Tell, tell, us, first? tell <laughs> us why you love L-carnitine. So I love L-carnitine because L-carnitine has one main specific job. It does multiple things, but it's main job, right? Main thing goes to work, you know, uh, from eight to five, four, is to get in to the fat cells also into the bloodstream and pull fat out and take it to these little powerhouses in the body called mitochondria. Mitochondria are the little energy makers in the body and they're all over your muscle, all over different places in the body. And L-carnitine will take fat out of the fat cells and the bloodstream and take them to the mitochondria to be able to be used as energy. So you're not just reducing body fat, you're actually using it as energy Really I just cool. had an epiphany, yeah. actually. What is it? Um, I've I've been taking my L-carnitine mm -hmm. pretty consistently, and I have noticed that I'm not feeling as fatigued mm -hmm. throughout the day like I used to. You know, I'm I'm not getting like some crashes that I feel like maybe I used to, and I just made that association. Yeah, the association is huge on two fronts. The first association is that if you have a lot of excess fat, those fats put off toxins that takes energy from your body to deal with. One, two burning the fat with L-carnitine then creates energy. So you get the double energy benefit. You don't have the toxins the body's dealing with and you get the benefit of using the fat as energy. So you're absolutely right. Yeah. And um, it the studies on it are really powerful. 
Yeah. So in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research, L-carnitine supplementation led to a significant 30% improvement in fat oxidation during exercise. Yeah. 30%. And this was actually part of another study that we presented to the doctors where, you know, when you spend four days teaching a group of about 200 doctors, you know where the aha moments are. Right? Yeah. You tell the ones where they're like, yeah, we don't care. Yeah. Versus, <laughs> yeah. And this is one of those what moments yeah. and moments. And what happened was we're talking about during a three-day fast. And so here's another little uh, add to that. If you take carnitine, like Hillary's saying, and through the day, you're going to increase up to 30%, right, of the fat burn, 30% additional. But if you want to, like, really blow that up, you take the carnitine while you're fasting. And that's what we show the doctors. We show that during a 72-hour fast, that if you take L-carnitine, branch, uh, L-carnitine, electrolytes. electrolytes, and another one we'll talk about in a second, <laughs> got to hold on for it, that they were actually able to, instead of uh, burning and actually reducing over a pound of body fat, they were able to reduce up to four pounds of body fat. And, and carnitine was a huge factor. So anyways, 30%, if that's all you do is keep your L-carnitine levels up. And, and one other thing on that is, I know we're talking about fat burning uh, from the fat burning standpoint, but the thing about L-carnitine's job in the fat cells is to reduce body fat, right? Yeah. But in the bloodstream, it reduces the bad blood fats. It reduces the LDL. It reduces um, it, the excess cholesterols. I'm not a, I'm not against cholesterol, obviously, right. as the research shows, but the, the excess cholesterols, but really the LDL. So it's taking cool. the bad fats that can lead to heart disease, stroke, and that, and then, and taking them in for energy in the mitochondria at the same time as that. So love L-carnitine, how much? Uh, how much? Oh, how much do you take? Yeah, so what, is the it scoop five? is three. Three. Yeah. So you, um, Hillary will do a little heaping, so it's closer to four or five, but the research is at three. Um, and so it's very little amount, but it doesn't taste good. It doesn't taste terrible. If you're somebody that doesn't mind super sour things, yeah. then you won't hate it. But then that leads to the third thing we're going to talk about that will solve that problem for you. Glutathione. Boop, boop. I love glutathione. I do too. Master Andy. Mostly just because it tastes good. <laughs> and it reminds me of soda. Oh, uh, killing me. So <laughs> it's, it, it's how we make it that makes it that way. People go by glutathione. They're like, oh, oh, oh our like glutathione. Soda. Sorry. <laughs> I love our glutathione. The glutathione really doesn't taste, but... Uh, how we make it, it does. So glutathione is a master antioxidant of the body. <clears throat> and and actually, playing off what Hillary said, there hasn't really been a oral form that's absorbed until now. Um, so most of the people that took glutathione were IVers, um, biohackers, injecting and things like that, which I'm not against the research shows that work. But hey, if you don't have to inject something, we're all for it. So we we found a way to be able to get L glut or glutathione there you go into the system i get so excited I you just do your best. and so um since glutathione is a master antioxidant we think of it as neutralizing free radicals we've talked about it in previous episodes that you know free radicals are a cause aging and disease and is brought on by stress by oxidation by chemicals but we haven't talked about glutathione from the fat burning perspective and it really goes a long way to help the body there's a critical role in the fat burning yeah, uh, and it does it through the metabolic process, yep. right? And it can do it by uh, increasing almost 20% in fat burning efficiency. Yeah, that's really the key, is increasing the body's efficiency 20%. I think something to keep in mind too as we're discussing these things is that a lot of these items just make it uh, easier for the body to go into fat burning mode, right? To I do mean, what it's supposed it's to. It's just, yeah, to just do what it's supposed to. A lot of these things are eliminating all of the distractions that the body has to face while it's trying to go into fat burn mode. And, and I really like that you point that out because if, if you think about, well, why isn't the body in fat burning mode? I want to burn fat. Right. Because the body works on a hierarchy and the hierarchy is real simple. Keep you alive. Stay alive. <laughs> yeah. Stay alive. And so, you know what? A little extra body fat ain't going to kill you today. It's going to kill you in the long run. It's going to build up. But if the body has to choose between that and, you know, being able to think at all or to function and major your heartbeat, different things, like that, it's going to choose those. So because we live a toxic lifestyle, usually with stress and foods and pollutions and environment and people we hang out with many times, then the body will say, okay, we can only have so many resources. 
that fat burning thing. Also, not yeah. as much. Also, I, I I think it's important to point out that when we're talking and discussing about fat uh, fat burn and uh, metabolism and that kind of thing, this is all in conjunction with a proper Support. diet and nutrition and exercise routine. These are all things that can help and assist in fat burning efficiency. These are not things to do instead of proper exercise, proper diet, proper nutrition. So yeah. they're all things that are, are there to assist and to make even better. And when we talked about this episode, we talked about a deep dive, right? And so for those of you that this might be your first episode, um, it's really important to understand what Hillary said and uh, maybe just explain the acronym real quick. Like, yeah, so I, I love the concept of us constantly going back to our fitness acronym because it's, it is the uh, cornerstone of what we believe and a fitness is the acronym focused intense thought so who you are uh your um health identity. health identity trait and that vision that you're working towards constantly in the future so your focused intense thought your nutrition your exercise your specific supplementation and in that order because if you don't know where you're going if you don't envision who you want to be then no amount of nutrition, exercise, or supplementation can get you there because you don't know where you're going. So. Perfect. So now you got the framework. And so this is the deep dive in the things that we're hoping just take you over the edge. If you haven't had as much, many results, you're looking for that win. Make sure that your, you know, first of all, your uh, electrolytes, sodium, potassium, magnesium are under control, that your carnitine and glutathione. And, you know, we have, how do you take those three? What's the best probably way to, to do that? Um, so Wait. currently, I, sorry, <laughs> currently I swig my L-carnitine. I like to just do my L-carnitine in a little bit of water and I just shoot it. And then as I'm walking out to the treadmill, I have my glutathione and electrolytes and I'm swigging that as I'm headed out to the treadmill. Now, I know it's important to drink glutathione right away. I do not drink my entire, uh, electrolyte glutathione mix right then because I want some of it as I'm doing my run. So, um, you know, while the glutathione, maybe I don't get all of the benefits that I could, I do save some of mine and continue to drink while I'm on the treadmill. And probably the most popular way to take those three things, electrolytes, glutathione, or carnitine, is just combine them. Um, just this week, we came out with the electrolytes combined with glutathione. So the glutathione wafers, if you go and look at L-glutathione in the formulas, Glutathione itself now has the electrolytes and they're organic. It's the organic forms of the magnesium glycol, um, you know, it's called bisglycinate, but it's the organic form. The sodium is a Himalayan, straight, true Himalayan, not synthetically made. Um, and so basically the body, if it doesn't need them, it won't use them versus synthetics. It'll might take your potassium too high or whatever it might be. So the suggestion, and I think it was Dr. Ridgway, one of the big, our great doctors did this, is take the glutathione effervescent, does taste like orange and a little of that soda taste, and combine the carnitine with it, and that's what you drink, and that makes the carnitine a lot easier to take, and you get all of them together, because now you've got, what did we say, 15% increase of fat burn for the electrolytes. 20%. 20% uh, glutathione, and yeah. then 30% from the carnitine, right? That's a big boost in fat burning capabilities by just swinging three nutrients. So um, you would buy L-carnitine powder and the L-glutathione is the two that you'd look to. And we'll put the references in the show notes for you. Yeah, so, okay, I love those. Um, we need to wrap it up in the next five minutes. So I just kind of want to hit a few other things that can potentially help with uh, fat burn um, before we go into the one that's next on here. How about um, some HIT? And can you explain HIT and and what it does for the body long it, throughout the day? Yeah, so HIT means- for fat burn. Yeah, high intensity interval training. So hit like hit, right? Two two eyes, in there. <laughs> <laughs> and um, <clears throat> it's the understanding that when you go to do any movement, whether it's rowing, whether it's running, whatever, you do something fast. Uh, thanks to Professor Tabata that basically did the research, twenty seconds fast. So run as all fast as you can, all out, and then for thirty seconds, just take it easy. Still do that movement, but take it easy. So I'm rowing. I'm rowing all out, and then just taking it easy. And that 
that movement versus steady state increases your fat burn, increases your metabolic rate within the same amount of time. So we're burning a lot more calories and a lot more from fat in the same amount of time by doing HIT versus steady state, just running at a steady pace. So that's what HIT is. And I, I do love my HIT. Um, and then, so the hot topic, right, lately, and there's a bit of controversy around this one. So you know Doug loves it, um, but cold plunging. So, and just doing a little bit of research um, on cold plunge, and this is still one of those that they're still researching. There's still a lot of studies coming out and people are really trying to delve deep into what all of the benefits that come from cold plunge. And, and how they come. And how they come. That was the thing is like, we know a lot of the benefits, but sometimes it really freaks people out. Cause like, we're not sure what mechanisms causing that. And yeah. that's really where, you know, the questions come in, but all we care about is the benefit, but there are some new research out. I think you're yeah. talking about. Um, yeah, so um, with cold plunging, not only does it have the potential in helping to reduce body fat, but also improve uh, the risk of diabetes, improve cardiovascular health, which are all kind of a synergistic yeah, and that's a new one too, uh, helping with diabetes, with uh, blood sugar re re uh, regulation in the body. And because what it does is they're finding that cold plunging helps to regulate how insulin works, how effective insulin okay. is in the body. Uh, which which is the direct uh, link to diabetes, correct? Correct, and yeah. that's it. So, you know, basically, um, if you want, let us know, we'll do a deep dive. We're talking about doing a deep dive into this is that your body gets blood sugar in the bloodstream and if it gets too much, you die. It just straight up, you would die quickly if your blood sugar got too high. And so the body has insulin to come in to get rid of that blood sugar. And it does it one by shuttling it into different places and also convert that sugar, that glucose into triglycerides, thus fat. And that's one of the things that found that with cold plunging helps with, with insulin, um, it's insulin sensitivity, it's ability to, to do its job well. Yeah, so um, Minson, who is the doctor that was a part of this study, the Borgen. Um, yep, added that there is evidence that repetitive exposure to cold water might reduce the amount of unhealthy body fat, maybe by changing it to be more like healthy, more metabolically active brown adipose tissue. As to how that might happen, <clears throat> I'm going to go a little bit further. Yep. Okay. Um, he explained that cold water exposure creates stress on our physiology um, in much of the same way that exercise does. So I like that, that um, example. Yeah, I do too. And I think that, you know, any controversy of that that comes out and really it's, it's deep in the scientific area that a lot of people, it just drives me crazy. There's argue for argue's sake. It's, it goes into, do you increase your fat burning by doing cold plunging? Absolutely. freaking -lutely. Like, absolutely the question is does it burn fat by getting in the cold plunge i don't think it does and uh, the research okay. leads more to it increases your metabolic rate because you have an increased metabolic rate and it's about, the stressor the right? stressor the same example or the same thing as exercise, exercise. stressor yeah, because exercise and cold plunging increases your body's uh metabolic rate burning calories like hey what's going on and you burn more calories right fight or flight type response but much healthier than because you're burning more calories, thus you're burning more fat. Now, if you increased your calories at the same time, you're not gonna burn the fat, but if you keep calories the same, then absolutely you're burning a lot of fat. So um, that's, you know, I know we need to, to kind of just finish up, but that's the concept is we're saying, look, do these things that this year are your theme, right? Do the things that are easy to do. It, it might not be easy to get in the tub, but it's three minutes. Right. You can do anything for three minutes. Right. Um, it's easy to take, your glutathione effervescent that tastes really good and add the carnitine to it and get electrolytes, carnitine and glutathione to get that extra fat burning. Do these easy things, start getting those little wins and then it'll be easier for you to say, okay, I'm ready to cut out all the complete fried foods completely and, and go longer and be more consistent and uh, be able to keep going. Yeah, and the goal is just progress, right? As we continue and if, if fat burn mm. and if uh, fat reduction is part of your goals then these are all things that can help assist as you go uh, if you're somebody that is looking for those and you're getting on the treadmill or you're getting or you're doing the rower or the stairs or whatever it is you're doing if you're doing those anyways and your goal is fat burn why not doing do them to the most efficient way to burn fat so it just hit right <laughs> so really let's just kind of end with this is is that it's our belief that what life's about is one, creating great 
joyful experiences you know, for yourself and, and as many people as you can. But the other is growth, that it's about growth. And you constantly, if you constantly work towards growth, then you're going to have better experiences and happiness and that. But it, that's the key is to not settle for mediocrity. Don't settle for mediocrity in your body. The amount of energy you have, the vitality, how clear your thinking is. Realize there's always another level and just work for those little wins, that little bit of growth. And today was a deep dive into very specific, some nutrients and, you know, a few things like hit and, and, and cold plunging. But that's the key is how about a little progress this year in those areas? And then you can start stacking those wins. I love that. I love that too. As always, Miss Natural Olympia Hillary. And click and subscribe, please. And this is Doug the Formulator. Click the button. See you soon. Keep chewing. Bye-bye.